Okay, I thought maybe I'd start one minute earlier, considering it's a very tight schedule. So, welcome to the uh, Thinkathon Thinking Games stream. Um, I'm not sure that's its official title, but I'm going to say that right now and hope it sticks. Um, so, we're going to go through a whole host of games tonight, seven, um, or morning, where if you're somewhere uh, else in the world. And um, I'm just going to get straight into it. We're going to start off with Konkan Coast Pirate Solutions. Um, and just remember that if you want a chance at getting a, a, one of the free Thinky Games, you should sign up for the uh, uh, Thinky Games newsletter. I'm, I'm, I need to find out what the address is. Let me just uh, get onto the site here. So uh, let's have a look. Uh, the Thinkathon. Oh, hang on. You can just sign up on the main page there. Look at that. It's just right there. Just put your email address in there. Just go to thinkygames.com. Um, oh, there's even a special web page uh, for it that uh, Joe has picked out there. So, um, okay, better to do it on the Thinkathon event page. So, um, to let you know the uh, the, the game I'm going to show uh, later on at, at ten o'clock, uh, well, around ten o'clock my time, <laughs> is going to be Tandis. I'm going to check that on the end today as a as a way to uh, you know wind down you know from all the hard thinking going on. So I will get straight on to it. So let me just uh, get to the loading screen and stick on Konkan Coast Pirate Solutions. So I think this might be the hardest one to say. Um, so uh, this is available on Windows only, I believe. And um, it's by Chapley Boy, who is um, in India. I think it's, uh, the name is Samanth Patangadi. Um, so it's this is going live, uh, going getting released on Wednesday, next Wednesday, the first of March. Uh, hello, Vife. Okay, let's just try this out. I have tried um, the first couple of levels. Um, ahoy, my mateys. Where are we exactly? All in due time, my friend. But first, we have something to show you. This is the Sim Engine. We've been working on it for months. How does it work? It is a complex modeling of the interactions between various ships and ocean conditions. Manny, you don't start a pitch with the boring theory parts. Puzzle games, we will do with, we deal with anything. Hey, I, hey, oh God, already broken. I just show me what it is. Go ahead, try it out. Okay, so uh, as I said, I've had a quick go with this. So this is the, the ship here. It's currently heading this direction. We're gonna get it to the uh, port there, the pirate port. So I'll put the instruction to turn to the right, and we'll just hit play. But my head's going to get in the way at some point, isn't it? Okay, that one's done. Let me just move my head. There we go. That is so much better. Okay, so, um, go on to the next one. Now you're completed. All right, so let's look at Merchant Ambush. What have we got here? Um, so, I guess uh, we go around here. So, this is something I didn't get immediately. I got it a little bit later, a bit of confusion. That it seems that the sails uh, relate to the destination. So, the last one was a black sail. It was a black destination for the pirate port. And this is um, seems to be heading for the gold with the, the, the yellow and gold sails. So, we wanted to turn right here. And uh, let's see what happens if we don't turn left. Pick up the gold <laughs> and crash, and that's the end of that. Okay, so let's rewind and we'll have it turn left here. Let's do the fast forward. There we go. All right, nicely done. Let's see what's next. Resource utilization. I'm not even gonna get for the tutorial on this 20 minutes, am I? Right, let's take a look at this. Okay, so black ship goes here, gold ship goes here. So in theory, you want the gold ship turning right here and uh okay. And oh I wonder. Hmm. Interesting. Because if I put that turn left there, this is just going to turn left here. Should be port and starboard. 
<laughs> My God, I, I'm getting I'm getting uh, taken down a peg or two on the chat because I'm not using port and starboard. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll use up and down uh, uh, in future. Um, so if I oh oh we can do one step at a time. That's interesting. Yeah, that turns it this way. Uh, yeah, very wrong. Okay, so I would want that to turn right twice. Okay, what what happens? Well, hang on, what happens if we just play this out? Right, so that goes off. Ball goes up here. Okay, all right. Rewind. So in theory, that should be enough for the gold ship to work, right? Oh, hello, Greg. Okay, almost did it. <laughs> So, let's turn left. I will go off there. Wonderful. Oh, I'm already getting confused. Right. Um, so, maybe... Oh, maybe it's something like that. Turn right and up. Yeah, that's not going to work either, though, is it? Because I'm going to need... <laughs> I could them wrong. No, no, no. The black ship is part of the crew. I think we're, they're both our ships, I think. Uh, I'm not sure. If someone teaches you something very useful, it's a cool mechanic. Um, turn right, turn left. I've actually done this level before, but I've completely forgotten how I did it. Let's see what happens. Okay, they pick up the icons. There we go. So, that should work because the black ship will get there first. Oh. And then drop the icon behind it. Okay, that's going to be uh, mighty confusing. <laughs> Following the leader. What's the next one? Oh, dear. Okay, so they can carry one icon at a time. Alright, so... They're both going... Um... North. <laughs> um... One could turn left. But then... Oh, it's not going to work, is it? Because if I do that, of course, the pirate, that one will go that way. That'll be fine. And it's almost like you wanted to drop the left here, but how will I get it? How will I give it the left? Unless this is completely the... No! <laughs> They're just going to go off if I do that. Okay, let's just... I'm just going to watch and just think about what this might mean. So that goes and that goes off and that teaches me absolutely nothing. Um, okay, so what do we got here? So, that turns there, and... Yeah, obviously can't put anything on land. If I have this pick up, pick this up first... That's... This is mad. Um, can't believe I'm, I'm just stuck so easily. That's gonna go off there. It'll just turn left there. But I get it to turn... No, that's just going to go around in a circle, right? I'm... <laughs> Complete disaster. Another interaction to discover here. Wow. Oh. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. I get it. Because they can pick up icons, you can put the icons on top of them. Very, very funny. Okay, so we're on to buddies. Let's have a look at this one. Okay. So, what's going to happen is it's going to crash straight into 
the island. We've got to do something else here. Um, if we make it turn left, I'm guessing what happens. Okay. Right, so if they get get one gets behind the other, it'll just follow it. It's weird that it rewinds to the start and success. Makes it feel like it failed. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. It's just like... But I guess it's... Uh, it's interesting. It has the, the little um, speech bubble above it. I think uh, what you're saying about it, it's weird that it rewinds. Yes, and it's also kind of weird. Like, I, I was not quite sure how to get back. <laughs> um, when I first played this for a quick test. Ship interaction. Oh, I don't know any of these levels now. It was only the first two I had to go at. Okay, ship interaction. Well, one, two. Okay, well, they're going to get very close. Will the black one follow it? <laughs> no, goodbye, everybody. It's funny, when it's wrong, it won't rewind. It only rewinds uh, when it's correct. But it makes sense, in a way. So... Well, what happens if I make them crash? <laughs> They're gonna crash probably, right? Let's just see it happen. All right, definitely they crashed. There's not nothing happens there. Um, I want. Hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a lot in in my head. There's a lot to unpack at this level because... Oh, I'm still going forward. Yeah, that's great. Um, because I really need to... We need to have them turning up here as well. So, you want to have something like that, right? For the black ship. Why didn't that happen just now? I feel like I did it in the beginning and I didn't put anything down. I just wanted to see if they one followed the other. Did I make... Oh, that's what happened. I did something like that, didn't I? And I interfered with the, the follow process. Okay. So I just need to get rid of that. Put that up here. Hmm. This is... This is looking a lot tougher than I was... Uh, I was hoping from its very simple <laughs> looks. Okay, stoppage. Um, right, let's have a look at this one. Okay, stop here, token. Uh, so Joe is saying it's got a really gentle difficulty curve. Um, so I guess I... No, it'd be the other way. So I want this one to stop so that this one comes up and then it follows it. That's my theory. Excellent. I'm, I'm very good at this game now. So, Swami, what do you think? Because I just finished the tutorial. I guess it's cool, but I don't, think, I, I don't think I know what it's for. The last three years have seen a sharp increase in pirate ship crashes and missed ambushes. It is sometimes referred to the Great Navigation Crisis. So we set up Concan Coast Pirate Solutions. This is our base. And we will figure out how to use the sim engine to help solve the crisis. Where do I come into all of this? So it's like this. I have all the contacts and can make all of the deals. I can handle the technology side of things. And you, Swami, you will run this company. Ooh, the product roadmap. Okay, I guess we move on to applications. Okay then, first order of action is CEO, I guess. I've looked over some of the higher profile incidents over the last few years and set them up in the SIM engine. And now to figure out whether the SIM engine could have been used to prevent the incidents. How does that sound? That sounds like the first step to a minimal viable product to show investors. Yar, I knew you were the right man for the job. Okay, so I guess you can choose. I'm not going to choose anything. I'm just going to see. Yeah, it looks like I can choose anything. Now I'm looking more closely. Not only is it just the, the map here, but you can see the icons available in the map the tokens. Let's look at the first one. Dead chivalry. Um, 
Mm. So, gold got to go here, and pirate ship got to go here. And they're both moving forward this way. So, you'd obviously want this to go here. Oh, sorry, no. <laughs> you'd want this to turn up this way. And I feel like I want this guy to stop. That's not going to work, is it? Maybe it will. They will go up this way. And then the gold ship will turn left and drop this turn right icon. That should work, right? No. <laughs> it's facing the wrong direction. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Because, oh, can I, can I just get it to stop straight away? No, <laughs> that doesn't work either. All right, fine. And if I have it stop right in front, it's going to be an absolute disaster. So this has to turn up this way. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I don't know about this. If I just put it further along. Oh, that's what it is. I put it further along. Oh. There you go. Oh, I hate it. It's just it's it's actually quite elegant. Oh no, no. <laughs> yes. Rewind. There you go. Go on. Yay. Okay. So, just uh, four minutes left. Let's see. Let's try through fair. Not thoroughfare. Thoroughfare. And oh god. Uh, I'm broken already. The game has broke me. Speed run time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, okay, so gold has to go here and pirates have to go. Gold here, black here. Okay, I want to see what happens if it goes to the wrong destination. Oh, nothing. That's interesting. Well... Uh, no, it's turned left. <laughs> okay. I'm conf What's going to happen then? Okay, so this has to go off, right? So I guess I dump this on top of the ship it drops it and then they go off in their separate directions yay okay right sheepishly oh no I see four ships <laughs> what are we going to do here um, well there's a lot of gold ships here um, do they all have to go there no, I'm just going to try one. Uh, turn right. And... Actually... That's not going to work at all. Oh, um, Joe is saying he just noticed the white ship sail. It was completely white after it's done the gold thing. <laughs> I didn't notice that. So I, I was wondering what was to happen with all these extra ships. Can I just... Do they have to go to the gold? Or can they just go somewhere else? Um... But these are going to crash. <laughs> well, let's just see what happens. Yeah. Uh, actually, I thought they were going to crash into the island. Yeah, that's that's not good, is it? Uh, if I have that turn left. And... Holy heck. Uh, no. What? <laughs> I don't know, something like that. Uh, my, my brain is seeing this, but I don't know. Okay, all of them have to go to the destination. Uh, yeah, not so, not so hot now, are you, Joel? So that will go off. Maybe it's... That stops there, that follows, and we're going to have a big old chain. Jeepers. Good God! <laughs> I 
I do not know what quite happened there. That's a level I need to look very carefully about what just happened there. Um, so, yeah, how did that work? I think we can go forward one step. So, one forward, one step. That's what you expected. It stops. Then we go forward again. This one is now going to be following this guy. And this one's following this guy. The issue I had in my head is, how does this not hit? So it's got the, the ship in front of it. So they won't crash if there's a ship in front of it. Okay, so it's just like the following works in reverse. The following acts as a sort of stop. If they're in, if they're aligned, they'll actually not go over each other. Only from the side or straight at each other. Hmm. Okay, that's 20 past. That's 20 minutes in, and we just did a very very weird. Uh, Freaky, my brain exploding level. Very nice. <laughs> uh, hello, Seren. Um, and Ambirona. I'm going to be starting to make up people's um, pronunciations of all the names. Right, so that was Konkan Coast Pirate Solutions. Uh, if you don't want to wait, uh, you can get it right now on Windows. Uh, not right now on Windows. This is a this is a preview stream. You can get it next week on Windows. <laughs> oh, Ambi streams on Twitch as well. Fantastic. I spend no time watching streams. I don't know anyone on Twitch. So I will close that down, save and exit. And I think let's let me get on to Ritmos. That's next. And are you coming on, Ritmos? There we go. Floppy Club. So this is from Denmark. Uh, and it is available, going to be available. God, Joel, get it right. Windows, Mac, and Switch. Uh, and it's coming out next Tuesday. So I'll be doing about 10 minutes of this. Uh, what I've seen of it looks really lovely. planets explode. I actually don't know why they explode, um, but they do. That Outer Worlds experience coming back to me. Voxels, but not voxels. Draw a loop, complete the puzzle. Thank you for taking over the linking, uh, Joe. I had all the links down here, but, you know, it gives me uh, one less thing to do. Actually, I should change the... Uh, the category for this. There we go, Ritmos. Right, um, so back to the... So I've got to make a, a, a loop. That's not very good. So, um, basically, you go from the starting point and you go all the way in one direction. You can't turn halfway through. It goes as far as it can. So, um, I want to... I can make a loop like this. No, I can't. <laughs> That's not going to make a loop. <laughs> Why is everything so hard all of a sudden? So, like that. There we go. Oh, you can undo by going back along the path, is it? So, we've got to solve all the puzzles on the planet. So, um, so this is very musical game. Path will draw until it reaches an edge. So, let's try and... That's not going to work, is it? There we go. So, um, let's... Oh, there's a... I've done two. Another one in the middle. So, uh, Hamby says... I feel like I've played a demo of this game before, or something similar before. Hit 
all sound emitters to get gold. So yeah, you can you can just solve it quickly with a oops, um, very simple loop um, like that. But that doesn't give you you know a full full gold star. So that will. So I hit all the sound emitters. is down here. Let me go with this one. Mm, no, because that's I'm not going to go anywhere there. Yes, a uh, path can never end on itself. Let's just run that. I think maybe like that. There we go. At the moment, I, I don't feel like um, I'm having to think my way through. It's sort of like just sorting through possibilities at, at this point. So, um, I could finish that quickly that way, but obviously I don't want to do it the easy, simple way. There we go. Uh, hello, Marcus Don. You missed um, Konkan, Pir Konkan Coast Pirate Solutions. And um, we just started doing Ritmos. I'm uh, halfway through my time for this. <laughs> um, I really want to at least finish one planet so you can see what happens next. Um, let's see. There we go. So the gold one. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Oh! See you, Ambi. something. There we go, yes. Oh, I think I just skipped over it pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, welcome to Jam Mode. Here you can play around and explore the instruments. You can even record your jam onto a record. I'm going to record. There we go. It's a beautiful piece of work, I think. I did, I did good. <laughs> now, I must admit, I got a bit confused about all the different things I'm looking at here. I've got there's two names, there's three names here. There's Oryx and there's looks like Mera and Kame. Right. Get all gold and all puzzles to send the planet into orbit. So we've done that one planet and so Oryx. I love the way the the the, the orbit is being disrupted by the, the pulsing of the, the beat. Like a kalimba but bigger. Let's have a look at the records up here. So it looks like um I guess every system is a is a it's almost like these are record labels or something, right? Um, I have kalimba. Oh God, everybody's talking about musical instruments. I don't, ha I don't have any musical instrument knowledge or any uh, skills. <laughs> um, well, very quickly, so I've got a couple more minutes. Oh, no, 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 come back out, come back out. Right, so a wooden version of the original Mbira instrument dates back to the west coast of Africa about 3,000 years ago. The most popular Mbira is the metal tinned Mbira, which dates back to 1,300 years ago. So this is Mpopoma. Mpopma? <laughs> Music labels have des dominated this space. Let's, let's try. Oh, hang on. Oh dear. Right. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. So there's a there's an actual timing aspect in in these puzzles. So I've done that one. And let's have a look what we got. Let's try this one. Okay. Oh, oh, that's interesting. So that means you could potentially, you can stop earlier than the end, or you could go to the end. 
Hmm. I actually went to... Oh! Oh, I gotta go like that, haven't I? There we go. Right. Well, let's see. One more puzzle before I switch off. Rhythmos. Oh. It has to be one that's gonna give me problems, isn't it? Um... Oh, that's not gonna... Yeah, I can... Oh, no, it's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Uh, Vivek saying, let's the presentation of finding the puzzles on different sides while the fragments float around. It is a lovely presentation. It just looks lovely and feel... The game feels very nice. Um, not sure exactly where the puzzles are gonna go uh, down the line. Oh, no! <laughs> I gotta time this one. Let's do that. There we go. All right. So then I've done three of that planet. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to leave. Oh, there's the core of the planet. I'm gonna have to. You can see the um the other sides of the. Uh... I can see the yellow thing there. You can see the other sides of the um the instruments. The um I can't remember what it called it. The um the sound emitters. So. <laughs> um. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that one there because my time is up on that. And that was uh, Rhythmos, uh, which is coming out on Tuesday. Right, back to the loading screen. Fast forward to the future. And my quickest way to exit games is Alt F4. Um, so next is Bonfire Peaks Lost Memories. So where's my button for that? There we go, button. And exciting. So this is from Corey Martin, uh, published through Dracknack and Friends, and um, Corey is from is uh, Harkening from Canada. I don't know if he's Canadian, but he's, he's he's working out of Canada. I can tell you that much. So um, it looks just like the usual bonfire peaks until you press play, and then up pops Lost Memories Part One. So this is coming out on Windows, Mac, PlayStation, and Switch next Thursday. And uh, I dearly loved Bonfire Peaks. So I imagine I will love this harder. Okay, arrow keys to move. Oh, arrow keys. I'm using WASD. Very good. <laughs> okay, so we're up onto a platform here, and we've got our first bonfire entryway. And <laughs> the first thing you notice, it's you've got... You had these spears in the first game, in, in, the, in the original, but not... I don't remember any of them pointing upwards. So... The question is... That's it. There we go. Difficulty, arrow keys B, O and W. <laughs> Very good, Vfig. <laughs> Difficulty in this picks up from where the base game leaves off, more or less. Oh, good. I've only had like about, uh, was it, a year of... Uh, I'm out of practice for a year now. I've, I've forgotten everything. Ooh. Camera panning camera tilting we got some items down there usually got strewn around in bonfire peaks let's have a look at podium Ooh. right so okay well I feel like I'd need to do that and you'd need to have another box going up here so what's the problem oh the problem is that's I can't get back up, right? <laughs> um, so, okay, so I'd need another box here, in theory, right? But that still wouldn't wouldn't get me. Yeah, I have a horrible feeling. I don't know, Joe is saying he knows what the trick is going to be. I have a horrible feeling. I have to put two blocks together or something. I'm just trying to figure out, if I do that, I have two blocks here, and that would get me through. Okay. 
The question is, I've just dumped that block there, though, right? So, oh, that should be okay, though. Oh, that should be okay, because I'm going to put it on top. Right? Okay. Except... <laughs> Get ready, everybody. There goes my block. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Maybe I just have to hold it then. Okay, so I have to go forward onto it. Okay, gotcha. Not sure exactly when this will release on the PlayStation Store March 2nd. Fingers crossed it'll be midnight local time. Okay. Alright, so I think... Okay. Yay! Okay, there you go. I got an achievement for that. Okay, so I think... I put... That works. And Saran, who's the producer, <laughs> but scheduled scheduled uh, the PlayStation. It's 9 a.m. PT, an equivalent globally on PlayStation. Okay, so I got a block. Am I going to go wandering? I do this all the time. You know, I, 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 I were like, yeah, 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 I got puzzles. I'll come back. I just want to have a look. <laughs> Well, uh, looks like a lot more puzzles. A um, lot of platforms. It's interesting. Um, I think I loved the, the original look of, of, of Bonfire Peaks. At times I got a bit confused about what was a pathway and where to go. And you might think that maybe this very simple look now is more like, like platforms, at least at this area. It's just platforms and it's brightly lit. But, you know, it's, it's actually easy to see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Um, I like that this area is much brighter. Ooh. Shall I? I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna try one up here. Go, go. Hole in the wall. Right. Mm. Okay. So. Oh, there's there's my box. I could obviously check that over there. down there but I can go across there but the problem being I need that block back so uh, Saren's saying um, glad that we're adding more puzzles this is Dragnet's first play DLC and Corey's and I'm really excited for people to get back into it without needing to buy a whole new game to get a game's worth of content I mean, Bonfire Peaks was, was just really, really good. I have feelings here, like, uh, I need to... I'm going to be putting in this box with the, the the Bernie box at the same time. Like, I need to put them together. That's my feeling, and I'm gonna, they're going to be burning together. But that's going to shoot off into the sky, right? There we go. Honestly, that's going to make for such so many comedy moments. Um, oh, that's why it's hole in the wall. Yes. Okay. I need to put it into the wall. And then it will fire into the, into the sky. Right? So, there we got that. Yes, well done. I've just broken it. I have a feeling... I need to drop this on... I'm gonna be careful here. I gotta. Oops. Oh my god. I gotta drop it on top or something? Is that gonna. That's, I'm in the wrong side of it, right? So I. Something like that. Oh! <laughs> no. Go back, go back. Back in time. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna put that there. I think I'm gonna put it out like that. Turn around. Oh no, no! <laughs> I need to hold it a different way. I, how do I do that? I feel like I need to hold the other side of it. I need to hold that side of it. But then, oh, like that. 
Okay. Oh, nice. I don't even know if this is a solution. It's just like my, it's my theory. Um, yeah, I think I need to put it around this way, right? So it can stick up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, is this gonna work? Yeah, no! <laughs> no? Then... What have I actually achieved? <laughs> I achieved anything at all. I mean, that's that's truly wonderful, Joel. But I need a, I need. This feels like I, I, I'm on the right path because you put the hole in the wall. You need the long block to be able to absorb the arrow, so it doesn't go flying up into space. So I feel like. This is kind of the right direction, but I'm just missing the last step. What is it I'm missing? Like, if I could turn this into an ash box, but would would it separate or? No. Hmm. Well, that was my fault choosing the hard puzzle. Unless. It's still not going to work, is it? Even if I manage to pick up underneath. Like, even if I do that, that's not going to make... wouldn't make any difference. Unless... I know. I don't think that's right. I don't... that's not good. Definitely not. I don't like it saying hard to reset puzzle. Like, uh, we know you've made a mistake. Uh, you know, just I'm just calling it <laughs> time of death. Um, oh god. Well, I'm missing something. There's a little part of me thinking, do I need to like ash turn the box into ash or something? But that's not going to work either. I, I I might just completely misunderstanding what I need to do here because obviously it, forgetting all about arrows and stuff what you really want is a platform here oh, I've, I've turned as far as I can you want a platform that goes over the edge there and then you can just climb onto it and drop the box to the other side it's almost like you want the if I could get it on my head if I could get the box on my head with that, that still wouldn't work, would it? Another thing you could do with the whole setup. Hmm. Joe's got other thoughts now. What is the other thing you could do with your whole setup? I wonder what, wonder what Joe's thinking about. I know what you're thinking about. No, no, come back. <laughs> right, we need to just change the angle of this. Is that what I need? One more cross. And we're gonna... What am I doing? Oh, I just have to do that, right? Oh. Oh, it does. It's stuck there. It is. It did. I wasn't sure if that was going to work. <laughs> Hang on. So I can put that back into the box. What do I want to do now? Is 
I'm just trying to think what I'd actually like this to look like. Maybe that's that would be enough. Okay, let's see. Come on, over you go. Oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna pick you up as one unit. Come on. Yay! <laughs> nice. Now I should go back to the easy levels. <laughs> there are no real easy levels here, are there? Um, okay, so um, let's go back down. I've got five minutes left with lost memories. Okay, let's try um, reversal. Okay, we got shooting happy things again. Oh, okay, so I guess we... We need to have this stabbed underneath so it can act like a, a pickup. Um, what? <laughs> uh, you need to stop watching so I can play without spoilers, says Joe. That's right. Well, don't worry, it's only five more minutes. You can just listen to me go like, oh, oh my god, oh, that's fantastic, it's amazing. Um, uh, Jonah, welcome. Uh, who says he loved the soundscape for this game. So he is very relaxing and restful. Now it's all brightly coloured. <laughs> Marcus Don making a comment there, but you'll lose your memory, don't worry. Just like the game says. Um, I'm not really sure. Wow, okay. This is... Okay, it's... no, it's... see, it's still gonna go fly. Okay, what? <laughs> Listen to that, Joe. Okay, what? <laughs> okay, that. So, right, so that makes. Well, that. Not what I expected. Hmm. Well, I guess that's a. <laughs> Anasep asks if you launch the box up, shouldn't it fall back down eventually? That's a good point. I just didn't wait. <laughs> Oh, I'm very good at breaking sticks. I need to turn this around. I, I, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, Saran just said if it hits the atmosphere, it's not going to come back down. These are very powerful arrows. What do I feel like? Why am why is this so violently difficult? <laughs> I, I, I'm holding the arrow in front of me. That's the problem here. Oh, there, there. That's the spot. Got it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I... S <laughs> Don't stand on it. Okay. Alright, now I can just... <gasps> well done, me. Um, well, this is looking kind of... Uh, um, lovely. I wonder what I'm going to do with all these boxes. Because, you know, you only need like one to get up here. So, uh, these boxes going to build towards something bigger. I wish the game would let you contemplate the solution longer. Um, yeah, it's a point. I think I pressed space very quickly then. It jumped straight out. I think it would have hovered for a moment, but I know what you mean. It still doesn't wait there for too long. Okay. Um, that's the one I just did, right? <laughs> no, it isn't. It just looks exactly the same. <laughs> I gotta stop in two minutes. Am I gonna get this done? No, probably not. Okay. Well, that's definitely a trap. Uh... <laughs> no. No, what? <laughs> um... No, <laughs> that's definitely not gonna work. 
that's great, but that... Um, okay, so, yeah, I gotta get over there, but not... <laughs> this is one of those really maddeningly simple levels. I love maddeningly simple levels. Because there's just not much to think about, and you just can't understand why you can't see it. There's barely anything I can do here. I need the box to get across over here, but once I get here, I'm doomed. And I can't use this to rotate it around or anything, right? Oh boy. There must be a hidden block somewhere. <laughs> What, 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 what is escaping my attention here? Oh, he just sits down. That's it. He just sits down and waits for the solution to just miraculously appear. So, uh, I've hit my, my target time. I'm sorry, I couldn't uh, couldn't solve that one in, in time, in the 60 seconds allotted. So we'll stop there and we will move straight on to... Let me just come out of this. So Joe will come back on to the chat. Uh, back on to my loading screen. So, next up is... No, that's not my schedule. My schedule's over here. I got a different schedule down there. Uh, Soccer Chess White. By... Yes, Joe, come back. Come back. It's gone. <laughs> I sent the, the bad boxes away. Um, we're on to Soccer Chess White. Soccer Chess White. Um, let me get that started up. So, this is from Daisy Games, which is... Um, I believe the developers in the Czech Republic. We're going all around the, the world today. Um, and this is available on Windows and Mac um, from next Friday. So I'll just start a new game. Played a few levels, obviously. Ah, Linux 2. Yes, it is available on Linux. I, I do, I'm a bit bad. I don't mention when games are available on Linux, but should we mention. So, if you remember, I did stream Soccer Chess um, recently, and it's quite a hard game. Uh, I think the difference in Soccer Chess White is that it's more like pure soccer man. I don't want to say pure soccer man because um, you had the black pieces moving, but there are no black pieces in this. So I haven't actually played very many levels. I saw about three. It was just I was purely testing. So we just have to move. Uh, the pieces to their appointed position. So you want the pawn to go into the right space there, and you want the rook here. So I could move the rook like that, and it will just... Oh my god, I haven't put the screen on, have I? <laughs> it's going really well. I was so scared about uh, revealing the ga uh, games to Joe. Let's start that again, shall we? Welcome to Sokoches White. Um, so, as I was just trying to say, so the rook here... Um, can move around and I want to push the pawn into the the space with the pawn symbol and the rook into the space with the rook symbol so the the rook can push the pawn this is a very easy level to solve right there you go that are so uh, unlike soccer chess uh, there's no black pieces at least as far as I'm aware because it's called soccer chess white if the black piece turned up I'd be very unhappy Daisy games <laughs> Right, um, the Rook's Trial. So, the pawn can only move forward, as you'd expect. So, I could move that forward, knock the pawn in there, and then go behind the pawn and knock it back on. There we go. Straightforward stuff. <laughs> Ima no tokoro, or as they say in Japanese, so far. Uh, diagonal. If you find a level too difficult, you can skip it from the pause menu. If you find a level too difficult, you'll find the level after more difficult, and the level after that even more difficult. So just leave the game. <laughs> um, okay, so I can do taking moves, and I could push that up there, but then this is stuck. Unless I push again. And interesting. So a taking move can push. But if it's if it's a move that you can't take with, so the pawns can't take forwards, so it can't push. 
Right, so... Like that, I guess. Uh, that kind of fell out, but the first time I played this, I was like, Oh, I don't know how to do this. And I had to think about it. So, I didn't remember how to do it. I just approached it in a slightly different way and it just all fell out. Um, this is the game of all the games in the Thinkathon that breaks my brain, says Throne. Yeah, um, I'm halfway through Soccer Chess, halfway through, and um, I just like say, oh, would I like to spend an evening on a level? <laughs> what if we go here? Uh, no, on passant, apologies to all Anarchy Chess fans. I was wondering about that move, but I like, I can never remember it correctly, so I thought, I hope it's not in here. So, uh, I think this is one I had a lot of problems with. So the issue is, you want to get the rooks past the past the pawns, but once uh, a pawn moves up here, it's stuck, right? It it could do a taking. No, you can't move at all, right? In theory, it could do a taking move. Oh, maybe that's the way. Oh no, no, I just push it in front of the rook. Uh, but that pawn's in the way. What if I make it take the rook? Then I can push this down. Is that going to work? I feel like I just ended up with the same problem. But maybe... Yeah, because that... I can't get them back into the middle, right? Oh, man. <laughs> uh... Yeah, my... um. Do you? That's fine, and I can move this out and down. But the problem is, once you move it off the side, I don't think. Once it's on the side, sucker band rules. It's on a wall, basically, right? And it can't go back in unless it's, unless it's taking. Okay. Or is this? Is this? Oh no, no, no! Undo that move, thank you. Okay, so that should be it, right? <laughs> the one thing that does annoy me, sometimes I wish I could make it push more than multiple things at the same, multiple spaces at the same time. With uh, Soccer Chess, uh, that was a problem because it had to do taking moves in between, so you couldn't. You could get hit by the black pieces in the middle, so you couldn't do that. Um, okay, I don't think I did that one before. Rooks and Pawns. I actually tried to do that level when it was like about 11.30 at night and I was like, why am I doing this? I can't even keep my eyes open. Um, rooks and Pawns, what have we got here? So this looks absolutely horrendous, just to be clear. Um, I've got to get this Rook down here and the Pawns up here. So the main issue, I guess, is this Pawn has got to go twice. So I can move it across once. See, if I move that down there, that's great. I can do that too. But then my rook is trapped. <laughs> Unless we didn't move this up first. That's a stupid that's a stupid move. Like that. Then we can move this up out the way. I still think this is not good. <laughs> Or back. Okay, maybe we have to move this one into the corner here. Then move this one up. No, 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 because you've got to get a pawn up here. <laughs> he thinks brain is stalemated. See you around. Enjoy the enjoy the night. Um uh, so yeah, I need to get a pawn in here. So someone's got to push it this way. I've got to have a pawn take like that across here, right? So that's how you do that. That's in there now. That's good. Um. Mm. <laughs> I've got to... Oh, holy hell. Is that... See, I can take up there... 
How would it move across again? Oh, no, no. Okay. Maybe if we just... I have to go around now. I can go around and just push it in. Yay! Um... Did I, did I swear? <laughs> I don't even remember that happening. Um, basic game said uh, I made you all swear. Bishop's burden. How much time we got left? Damn it! This time needs to go out quick, more quickly, so I don't have to get to any hard levels. <laughs> um, I do like the improved presentation on Circuit Chess White. Um, the 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 kind of the the, the silhouette of the chess pieces. I like that. Wake up, Jehol. Okay. What am I gonna do here? Oh no, it's wake up, Joe! Exclamation mark. <laughs> this is getting very confusing. If someone says Joe with an exclamation mark, I'm gonna think it's me. I need to make this font bigger so it's much more clear. Um. Okay, so I need to. How do what? How do I get? How the hell am I gonna get a pawn up there? So the only way is that the pawn. Pawn has got to be pushed by the bishop. It's the only way up that way, which means somebody will have to push. It'll have to go across over here. And how would it do that? I mean, that's wonderful, but. Oh, OK, I think I can see it. All right, so I move this forward. That can then push that up there. And and I need to make sure the bishop moved first. I move, I move that up there. Uh, I, I take push the pawn there. Then I'm no. Then I need to make it make the bishop take it, make it take the bishop. I can push the bishop up there. Um, and then I can push this guy down here. Yeah. Wow. Um. I can't believe I'm actually solving them. What's going on, Daisy Games? This is obviously an easier game. <laughs> oh, frostbite. Excuse me a sec, can I just... Let me have a... How many levels are there? That's seven, eight, nine... Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seventy, so it's about the same size as the first game. All right. Okay, frostbite. Okay, what are the what does the frosty markers do? Let's just see what happens. <laughs> okay. I see. That looks evil for this level, considering it's all pawns. Okay, well what happens if I try and push a frozen piece? Okay, so it, it does unfreeze. I see or I see. I'm not even thinking what I'm saying. I'm just throwing things out. Oh, hello. Les Low Slow. Honestly, that's very difficult to read as a Twitch name. Um, okay, so I need to... I think that's it. Once I broke one out, that was it. That was fine. Oh, yeah, Lislo is uh, here for uh, elephant <laughs> later on. <laughs> um, eight of ice and chess. Okay, what do I got to do here? Oh, does the bishop go? Oh, no, the bishop is going to be stopped by the ice. Okay. Thank you for the link, Joe. So just white in the chat. Uh, so I can move that there, it gets trapped. If I knock them out of the ice, then that's fine. So 
I can do that. Oh, this is bad. I mean, that that's fine, but no. <laughs> Everything's in the wrong place, really. Well, the pawn's in the right place, but that's the problem. We can't get the pawn back. Oh, yes, we can. What am I talking about? This is a this is a sneaky thing about um circuit chess um and circuit chess white. The the situations look completely untenable unless you take another closer look at the mechanics. Like no, that's impossible unless you could possibly go around. Oh wait a second! I literally thought I was gonna have to restart that level. Oh, evil. Reason push. Uh. So, I can push them up there, okay, and I could, okay, this is bothering me, so I need to make sure the bishop goes up there before the other pawn does. What? Um, okay, so I could knock it that way, but... Uh, does it work? Oh, no, no, not that. I need to move the pawn forward, and I can work around it. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I've got a more natural knack to soak chest white than, than soak chest, because the thing with soak chest is that all of a sudden you've got the, like, you don't know what's going to happen with the black pieces sometimes. Uh, level 10. Honestly, I think if a lot of you are watching me solve these on the stream and then go and buy it later, you'll have exactly the same problems. I'm not that you're thinking like, oh yeah, I remember that trick. It's a little ditty in the, the start of every level here as well. That wasn't in uh, in black, unless I'm just I'm playing it without any sounds. Wow, this looks... Uh... So i got to keep on knocking the pieces. This is... I'm just going to see what happens, so... Well, that went bad quickly. <laughs> That's not gonna... Yeah. Um, okay, that doesn't work. So, is it better if we do the... Uh, the bishop first? That's interesting. Oh, no, no. I didn't want to do that. Maybe that's what we do. Uh, or is it? Because if that goes up there, no, we're totally screwed. I think we have to do this. Uh, okay, let's see what happens. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's frozen. So... Hmm. It's still frozen. <laughs> and it's still frozen. They've got no choices here. Oh, I could go up like that. But I don't know if that gets me anywhere. Oh, yes, it does. If I put the rook up here and then knock the rook out. Okay, so... Um, so... It's like a, a constant sequence of, oh, here's another problem, and here's another problem. So I think I'd want to go in. No, I need to push. The great thing I just realized, I meant to say it, and I got conf I got stuck looking at the problem. You can use the rook to change the the which color squares the bishop's on, which is not a chess move. No, oh, no, no, no. It's just doing it twice. That's not what I meant. Right. Okay. And then we'll just knock it back on to the white squares. <laughs> See the only problem I, when I, I want to switch, it's, I'm still on the rook. Oh, that's very interesting. Clearly one, one way just didn't work at all, and the other way did work, but you had to work through a number of different uh, problems. Um, almost out of time for Sock Chess White. Um, Let's see. Freeze carefully. Bit of synth there. Um, so that's not going to work. 
So they're all going to get frozen. Whoever moves first gets frozen. If that goes up, can't be unfrozen. Okay, so the bishop is the only one that's possible to unfreeze. Okay, knock that out. And maybe that's how we do... Wait, what? <laughs> I don't think I thought that one through. Um... Oh dear. No, I didn't think that through. Right, so... To... No. Hmm. Oh, that's it. Time's up. I think I could get it. Um... I went quiet because my brain started looking at all the possibilities. It's like, oh, this is just, it's just, it's too much crunchy logic to go through. Right, I will stop there. Thank you very much, Daisy Games, uh, for for that. Um, so that's Suck Just White, which is out on Friday next week. Okay, back to the illustrious loading screen. And the next one is Stuffo the Puzzle Bot. Uh, let me just open that up then. And straight back into the game. So this is from... Um, uh, uh, Finnish developer, Antti Tihonen, um, who was, um, uh, I think, um, he's worked on, um, you know... Um, oh my god, the name's gone for me. Uh, the Dungeon Master remake, um, damn it, you guys have to trust me that the Dungeon Master Legend of Grimrock, Control Anointed, there you go. So uh, I've played a few levels, um, I'm going to just start, start over from the beginning. It's got a very nice aesthetic this game. So you, you climb naturally up surfaces, but obviously you can't climb up there, it's too high. Oh, hey, Orian. Nice for you to turn up on a, on a very late, very late in the evening. And you can also swim. There you go. There are the titles. So um, you can you can pick up blocks with space. <laughs> Which is the exit. That was learning to climb. So this is out on Windows only. Uh, and it's Thursday. Next Thursday it's out. Right. Um, so I got a bit stuck on this level. I mean, I got through it. But I had a bit of an issue uh, trying to figure out what to do. So I went down here. Um and you can pick up underneath you. And you can just pick up the box, take the box, take it any way you want to. Right, so... Let's see. Um, so here's the thing that took me a moment uh, to realize. Um, you can't just put blocks down anywhere. What you're actually doing is nailing it to the wall. <laughs> you see? I can't put it here. It's highlighting those um, metallic um, walls. <laughs> that, that's how you get through that. Um, I still need another one though. I have a feeling... Yeah, I can't climb up there anymore. <laughs> I think I hit the undo button. <laughs> so what we have to do is, I think, put that over there. And then put this here. There we go, and that's that uh, level. You know what, sorry, I'm going to just turn my sound down a little bit. It's quite loud here, I thought I'd turn it way down. 
That's better. Now I can hear you all more clearly. Uh, no, I already did this level. <laughs> Return to map. Okay. Um, so this is uh, what I've seen of it. This is quite an interesting game. Um, I don't know if I like the name. Stuff for the Puzzle Bot. It, it didn't uh, uh, fill me with excitement. But I think it's a very cool game. I love the little um, distorted pixel reflection uh, at the bottom as well. So you can go up here. Um, he imagines the title with the music of Denver the Last Dinosaur. That's Jonah's making love at the comment that... Okay, I can't pick that up. Oh, okay, what can I do in there? Jonah's saying he loves the animation at the start of each level. So you can see these are teleporters. So what I'm going to try and do is take this block through. So it's interesting, in a lot of block games, you often your problem is where do I put my blocks, right? I mean, there's, you need there's space problems, but actually moving blocks from place to place is not an issue. So I need to get over there, so I imagine my... There's something down here. Oh, I know what we're doing. Oh, there we go. It's a bridge. <laughs> I was thinking about making stairs. There we go. So I don't know what it says about atoms collected or not. You need, apparently you need atoms to unlock this gate here. Uh, sorry, that's behind my head. It says removed when you have 50 atoms. Um, so, um... Transportable teleport. Yes, that's right. On this level, you've got a teleport that you can carry. Um, so I can put this wherever I want, uh, as long as it's on a wall. Why do I need it? Okay, so I can pick that up. I can swim across here. Uh, now I seem to have made an error. <laughs> Maybe I should not have put that there. Let's get this. So I guess I can now climb up here. Uh, maybe I put my teleport there. And then I can bring the box through. Jump it there. Take my teleport up. And do the same thing. One more time. The music is a bit loud. Okay. Um, maybe I should just change that. Uh, music. Is that better? Maybe that's why it was so loud for me as well. Um, bridging the gap. Level contains Atom. Okay, so we're hitting the first level I haven't seen. <laughs> um... All right, so take the atom to the exit to collect it. Now, I wonder if the atom is compulsory. Put it down. Oh, hang on. Um, I love the music. I'll have to turn it back up sometime later. <laughs> Above there is parking, and then do that. Let's just see if we can exit. So we can. The atoms are optional collectibles. Let's go back in. Let's see what we can do this time. Okay. Let's see if this is particularly difficult. I need to pull that down, I think. There we go, yeah. That's how we do that. Just make a bridge all the way over. No. 
<laughs> no, that's that's not gonna work, is it? Mm -hmm. uh, I love it. You know, you always got those moments where you're like, oh yeah, I've got it now, I've got it now. And then suddenly, like, why? Well, what? It's not right. I guess I'd have to do it from underneath, right? I'm gonna have to fall down here, and then do that, and then rebuild my bridge over here. I quite like the puzzle. The only thing about it, it feels a little bit laborious in terms of having to walk back and forth, and, and now I've gotta do the exit again. Now, do we have any problems. Mm. Oh no no! <laughs> I didn't undo. I was very scary. Uh, I thought it was just gonna I'd lose everything because I think I need to get these first. Yeah I like that it's grid based but the movement is continuous so I'll be like um, Stereo Boy. Oh no it's spam in chat. I think that's Oh no, I think I need another block, right? I need to make Hmm. Yeah, so this be the problem. I need to Do I have to do all the stuff I did before to put it up, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now I've got everything back. Now if I could just remember how I did this earlier. <laughs> so we have to do that kind of quite carefully. Okay, I think you just need three. That's what we had before. There we go. Right. So I got my first atom. How many atoms do I have? One atom? <laughs> okay. I thought they might have a value. Like, yeah, you... No, 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 come out. I, I thought you'd have collected 10 atoms. Oh, this is like... No, it's literally 50. I need 50 atoms. So the next area is locked with 6 and 16. Oh, there must be a lot of atoms in this. Confinement. Let's take a look at confinement. Um, so it's all just undo block placement, zero backspace. Okay, it's a very uh, frightening undo. Because <laughs> it looks like the entire level has been undone, right? That, I'm just, if I just move these over. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ah, scary. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna fall through there. <laughs> I was actually thinking about that very thing, Joe. Joe says it's not as frightening as the golems restart. Jesus. The, the undo and the golem, golem uh, is enough to give you a sort of uh, bit of a fit if you're not careful. Okay, I just go over it like that, right? There we go, there we go. Not as difficult as I thought. It's just your head keeps on thinking about block movements. Now, this isn't necessarily. <laughs> okay, I think I'll leave that there. I need to move. No, oh, that's that's work I think, right? What? Mm. A bit interesting. I feel like I. I think I need to put one down here. That's my feeling. So then I have freedom of movement. Still. <laughs> 
Okay, maybe I just put that. No. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, I lost it. Okay, I picked it up. Okay, I've done that. I think that helps. Put that over there. Put this there so I can go back up. No, isn't this what I had just now? I might keep on convincing myself I've made a new situation when I haven't made anything at all that's new. Um, I need... See, I'm not thinking, am I? I'm just doing. So I need... In theory, I, I want a step here and a step here. And I need... To be able to... Okay, I need to put this, I need to put that in there, don't I? I think that's the way... I've got to put... I've got to put a platform... Here. How do I do that? Oh... Do I just have to put it upwards? With that. That solves my problem, I think. No, not yet. <laughs> uh... No! I'm gonna be on the wrong way. I'm gonna be on the wrong side. I'll have the perfect, the perfect stairs. Um, but maybe that's okay. Like, no, it's not okay. No, that's not gonna help either. If I take this up, does that help if I take it up? <laughs> Hang on. Things about a bit here. Okay. No, oh, that doesn't help at all. <laughs> uh. Anasep. It's interesting how the block orientation shows how you placed it. Oh yes, it is, isn't it? It's uh sideways and up, isn't it? It feels like such a um, an irrelevant detail. It's not in, in, important, but it, it's captured by the game. Although I do wonder if later on the positions are going to be like, oh, you have to run a current through these uh, with these uh, panels. So um, close, but no cigar. He says. What? Um, how do I? I mean, I can... That's wonderful, but it's almost no. Like I need a panel underneath here as well. Like I need, I need one there. But if I do that, then I have no free, I have no free panel unless that is how it's done. That, that is the actual problem, and then I go up there and I put one there. Yeah, okay. I think I have it now. <laughs> Getting a bit more speedy at moving these blocks around. <laughs> God. There's no atom, right? <laughs> uh, well, that was, um... That was more difficult than I thought. Um... A lot of ordering issues of being stuck. Um, oh, I see this little picture in the bottom right here of um, the, the actual level. I'm uh, sorry, behind my head as well as the name of the level. This is called Emission. That was Confinement, Bridging the Gap. We're almost out of time. Now we've got a beam. Is the beam going to destroy puzzle uh, stuff with the puzzle bot? Let's call it puzzle the stuff of all. No, it's it's just like a water geezer. <laughs> and I thought it was just like something deadly. Okay. So is that over? Oh no, you can move it. Okay, yeah. As Marcus just said, 
orientation does matter now. Well, this is... I need to get up there. Oh, there is a panel. Okay, that's... Sure. That, I guess. And then we just step onto it. Yay. Okay. Well, I'd say that's more of a tutorial level, wasn't it? To teach you how those um, mobile pieces work. Um, that's really interesting. I, I, it's a very interesting set of mechanics, and it's more about... It's very odd to moving teleports around and... You know, things that do stuff. Um, it's, it's like moving the environment around. I know we've, we've seen kind of similar things in other levels, in other games. But it's, uh, it's interesting that's what the focus is here. Oh, well, I'm out of time. So that's half past uh, it's half past the hour. So it's that's the 20 minutes up for stuff with the puzzle. Very interesting. And that is out on Thursday. And... Uh, did Joe drop in the link? I hope he did. <laughs> I can't remember. Right. So that was a level called Piggyback I Abandoned. Uh, and we'll stop there. Um, and we will go on to Elephant. Oh, he did. Right, go back to my loading screen. And open up Elephant. It's a bit scared of. Um, so this is from uh, uh, Lucas the Slow. Um, who I believe is Spanish. And this is only for Windows. Oh, God. I'm missing the titles. Sorry, everybody. You missed the titles. You know what? I'm going to just do that again. Right? Let's just do that again so you can see it. Uh... There we go. So... I did play the original, um, I, I'm going to have to get used to saying this, Elephant, Elephant. And if I keep on saying this, I'll, I'll end up saying Telephone. Um, so I did play the original Elephant. I, I played quite a few levels. I didn't finish it. Uh, <laughs> I got quite stuck, but it was very interesting. It was very crunchy for the, for the brain. Um, so settings, credits, and quit. Oh, so this is out next Wednesday. Um, uh, so let's just play. So, exclamation mark. Let's see if this works for me this time. It did not work for me last time. LF is the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And it is silent. However, it can be combined with the uh, Nikud vowels to make a sound. is sad. Nice to be able to talk to others. Um, yeah, <laughs> I disconnected my controller. I There seemed to be an issue where when my controller was connected, it was skipping the conversation. Uh, this is the first time I've seen that. <laughs> um, okay, let's go on to the first level. So, I, the, the, I mean, the presentation is just really lovely. I mean, it's uh, really looks good. Um, I love the way the Aleph is looking at you. So, let's push this vowel up to it, I guess. Oh, thanks for the report. I was just working on a bug related with that. <laughs> Okay, so that's what I have to do. Um, I push them together, then I made a sound, and then I have to touch the Aleph. 
I really can't remember the mechanics at all of this. So... Oh yes, it's interesting. Joe's just pointing out um, floor panels go down as you walk on them. So... Oh yes, I remember. That's what the, the thing was. It was the orientation. So I have to put it underneath like that. And then... Then I can say the, the word. Sound. Okay. So... Okay, that works. Ah, yes, and, and then you can't get through. Alright, so you can't get through this shape. So it will block you. You're trying to reach the A left. Do you know what I love about this? It's a very kind of odd rule set. That's that's the kind of, you know, it's very difficult to even articulate. You know, it's like, oh yeah, I want to make a puzzle game where you know you put things together, but you can only touch one side. And it doesn't make any sense unless you start talking about elephants. Uh, okay. Oh yes, when I made the sound, when I hit the Aleph, um, this turned. So what do I want to do? It's got to be underneath, right? Uh, I can't move it off the wall. If I turn it, there we go, it's, up, it's the other way, it's the right way up now. I said it's the right way up. It was just a pure, a complete assumption. I thought it was like the wrong way up. Okay. I'm going to forget these mechanics if I'm not careful. Let's just go and explore and see. Oh, and there's the uh, uh, oxen at the top there. So this is the level uh, list at the moment. Look at that background is very lovely. What are those sweeping shapes? They part of say anything. I don't know what they're a part of. So uh, the jam inspired the name Elephant, and that inspired this game. First time I made a game where finding a title wasn't a hard task. What <laughs> seems to have disappeared is that I remember when I played Elephant, there was a the um, there was a elephant making a you know the the an elephant noise. What's the name? An elephant noise. Um, and it was just hilarious. Every time you did it, you get this, you know, when you'd finish the level. And I just like, crack me up every time. But the mood of this is different. It's very kind of like serene and restful. And you don't want to listen to me talking through it all the time. And so as a result, I think the, uh, the elephant doesn't make that noise anymore. So... Oh, I can, I can do it more than once. That's it. What's all this? Oh, Z, R, and E in the corners. They're actually um, Z is undo, R is reset. What's E? Why is there an E? In, oh, E is the letter. E is the name of the uh, level. So behind my head is an R. to do something else with this. This is... There. That's it. I like to practice a little bit with these mechanics. It's uh, a, bit, a bit tricky. Um, let's go for F. Okay, so we've got two the thing it's holding me up all the time is like I'm trying to figure out is this symbol the right way up or not I'm guessing that dot is supposed to be helpful um, so the dot is telling you the orientation 
it's on top of the ship. Oh, and that's what the problem is here. If I go across here, it'll screw up this side. Oh, and I'm going to screw up this side now. I did it. <laughs> I had a look at illiteracy. Yes, illiteracy, I remember that. It's it's basically um illiteracy. It's basically like kind of kinda of like a lights out puzzle with lots of funky rules. But it was really, really cool. Um so F oh okay, so this is Shall I go for the exclamation mark or just leave that? Uh, maybe I shouldn't go for exclamation mark. It's a conversation. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil. Like, just leave this open for other people to enjoy when if they have a go at it. Okay, so. Oh, that's that's a disaster. So can I just? these together oh look at that <laughs> it hooked on to the first one nicely annoying oh no no i didn't want to do that either so if i push this wow oh god it pushes the other alf <laughs> I'm like, how do I get this around? I can't push the A-Labs. Until they're joined. Then they become... Now the a is solid. No, it's not. <laughs> what am I talking about? That's the thing, ALFs aren't solid, uh, except when something else pushes them. <laughs> if, oh, hang on. That's what we need to do. Oh, beautiful. They won't align if I, if I, now that I've done that, so you can push them on top of each other. How <laughs> can I get them to realign again? Yeah, that's uh... Oh, maybe I only get, get, need to do one at a time? Right. And then... There we go. Nice. Okay. Oh, do I have to... There we go. Oh, it's it's I, I I love it. It's you have to. Um, it really makes you have to think uh, in in really different ways. And it's this kind of orientation of the of the, the fact that the orientation, the very um, continuous almost orientation of the LF and the, the symbols is actually important. You know, it's a very it's a grid game, but everything has got this um, freedom of movement. That noise where it just locks, you're thinking, mm, was that was that a good move? <laughs> um Okay, no, so okay, the problem is here. Uh, I gotta move the A lift. Oh, damn it. The continuous mutations are reminding Joe of Squishcraft. Uh, let us not speak of Squishcraft again. <laughs> I haven't given up on Squishcraft. I do make little bits of progress and I found some secret levels. Um uh okay so i it's weird only a lefts can push a lefts <laughs> i have a feeling i've completely screwed this <laughs> i 
Wow. So... That's fine. I need to get this around to push it across. As soon as I hit this, the the vowel is is turned. But if I do this, the vowel will turn, right? It's like I need to push it back up. Only ALFs can push. LFs. And if I push it up, I can't push it up, can I? <laughs> no. This is. Uh... Beside it, but can I? I don't think I can move the A left up. Uh, I've only got the ability to move it left and right because to move the A left up, right, I'd need to get. I'd need to have the A left underneath pushing it up. There's no way to do that. Is there? <laughs> if I. Okay, okay. Maybe there is. I have to push it right onto it. Oh no, 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 that's not gonna work, right? Okay. Oh yes. Okay. Now I need to. Uh... All right. This is this is kind of tricky. We'll sort out orientations afterwards. Let's just get it moved across. No, no. I need to move this up one more, and that's what scares me. This is now scary, officially scary at this point, because uh, it's going to get stuck. I mean, it's great, I push it up there, but then, like, there's nothing I can do. Maybe it's something slightly down. I need to move it up. I need to re-tag. Re tag this is a horror game. <laughs> It is, it's very scary. Um, maybe, okay, let's go back a bit. I think maybe I should be concentrating on moving moving it across first. <laughs> oh God, it's a... <laughs> Restart. I can't push it all the way with the ALF that way. Oh, this, uh, this is a tough one. Maybe I... I want to do it sideways, but you can't. You can't... The first one has to be connected vertically like this. Because um, you, it's not going to turn at the moment. I've got no sound set up. Right. And then I could... I think I can only reset it going sideways. I can't reset it going downwards. So I need... I think I remember trying to do this level <laughs> on the original. Um, so I need to be able to push it across. The only way to do... I wanted to go up and across. And that's the problem, right? Because I can push it up. But as soon as I hit this, I need the ALF here. And I can't get it to go any further. Oh, look at that. Three spaces. Just one space. That is so evil. Like, oh, I know the problem you're going to have. You're going to try and push it across here. But uh, it's a bit too far away. If it was just here, it would be fine. 
Now Orion says, I see it. Well, my time zone is practically up, and I want to like just watch in the seconds. <laughs> I mean, I could push it across here, but then I can't push it up, right? I mean, that's lovely, but no dice. <laughs> uh, I hit the magic um, 50 minutes past the hour. So that is it for uh, Elephant. Um, so that was a lovely game. Um, I don't know how far the mechanics go. Um, what happens down the road, uh, whether you you know see the full nature reality, but that was elephant elephant, which is coming out next Wednesday, and that was the last of the Thinkathon games. So I will stop on elephant, and then we'll have a quick look at Tandis. So why why am I streaming Tandis? Because it's I made a mistake. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that now, and I can explain it. I know that Marcus, the stream is not finished. <laughs> right. So uh, a few years ago, no, when I say a few years ago, I think last year. Um, so I put out this tweet <laughs> about Tandis. Um, so we've got, uh, I, saw, I saw the, the video of, of of Tandis and I was looking at it and thinking what the hell is going on here um, and so I could see it was, it was mathematically related so I just said I made this comment Tandis has just been released and I have no idea what's happening in this gameplay trailer but as a mathematician I'm authorized to inform you it's pure sex and that's what I said and um, Tandis has just had some extra levels or DLC released recently and um, Mardi uh, contacted me and said, "Could he use my comment on on the, the Steam page as you know in the review comments?" And I was a bit uncomfortable because I hadn't actually played it. So I said, "Look, I, I, I'm doing a big stream in the weekend. If you give me a key and I'll and I'll, I'll play a bit of it, and then that'll probably I'll probably still agree with the comment and I'll have played it. And it's fine. You can say, you know, I really meant it." Uh, and then I remembered. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of games this weekend and I thought, you know, uh, I kind of made a, a commitment <laughs> to doing Tandis on this stream. So here we are at the end of the Thinkathon um, stream doing Tandis because I promised. And I have played it a little bit and I said, you know what, I agree. Uh, it is true. So now, and now it's actually on the Steam page. As a mathematician, I'm authorized to inform you. It's pure sex. <laughs> so let's take a look at Tandis and you can see what I saw. Let me close that down. It's making music. Um, okay, so let's break open Tandis. Oh, oh my God. Oriana's just warned me that uh, Twitch does not allow me to show sex. I should be very careful what I do. Uh, good. Oh, it's, yeah, it's good. There we go. Been a long time since I've seen a dialogue like that. So, um, this is Tandis. <laughs> this pixelate like the game to hide, hide the secrets of the sex. Be careful with the shapes you make. Thank you for all the recommendations, everybody. I'll be sure to follow them up. Um, so, Mahdi Barami is the developer, and uh, he's uh, in Iran. Uh, this is available on Windows and Mac. His previous games were in Gare. And there was something a lot earlier called Farsh, which I remember playing and didn't enjoy, but that was like 10 years ago. Um, so this came out last year in April 2022. So let's just do a new game. So you get this nice... Delicate intro. What 
did I tell you? You know? As a mathematician? This is the point where you're supposed to do something. <laughs> Just to be clear, I, I actually stared a bit longer at this when I when I was firing up the other day. I'm like, oh, oh, okay, sorry, I should get on with it. Okay, so the eggplant eggplant podcast did a nice interview with a developer, uh, says Joe. So here we've got um, a shape, and here's another shape. And actually, if you use the right click, you can do a whole um, uh, moving of the, the, play, the play field around. So uh, if I just move this onto this purple dot here, it's happy. Whereas if I put it onto the, the it here, it's not happy. I think you can just see it's just glimmering red a little bit. So I have to create the exact same shape. Um, this is just too small. And immediately I saw this, okay, I, my head was like, oh, coordinate transformations. <laughs> um, I mean, that's one way of putting it, there's other ways of, of describing it, but my head was immediately coordinate transformations. Um, so I can now grab this one, and that becomes, you know, my um, shape I'm carrying around. And as you can see, actually, you know what? I can actually put it back on the first one. It's double the size. I'll leave that there. And I have met the successful criteria. And then when I saw this wobbly line, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> All right. So now I just try and make a, a wobbly line. Okay, that, that seems easy enough. Uh, this one caused me some grief. Um, so, great. So I've got now two versions. I've got one which is like a nice diamond. And one which is very... Flat, um, you know, batter diamond. Um, so I could take this, and I was like, "Great, what do I do now?" <laughs> and um, uh, then I, then I just get confused at this point, and I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. So let's just oh reset. Good, there you go. The reset. If I take the ordinary. You can go the other way as well, couldn't you? you could... Oh God, sweet Lord. <laughs> um, I could take that, put that there. Then I have this block. That doesn't work either. I feel like this is not what I did. I did. Um... Oh, that's not what I did. <laughs> I did that. I believe I took the big one. And then did I? There we go. I took that. And I'll have to admit, um, despite apparently my mathemat mathematician credentials, that was complete guesswork. <laughs> so um, there's the there's the solution. And don't you forget it. Oh, now we get the famous restart and undo. It was the last level was easy. <laughs> so where do we want to put this? So the thing is, if we do this one, it gets too many wobbles. This way we get less wobbles, but it's too short. So we'll get the one with the less wobble. And then we'll make it longer by putting it on this one here. See, I can understand this. <laughs> so I can elongate it sideways. That's good. There we go. Yep. Yep. Not... Uh... Not going to go on any further, obviously not. Uh, once we've got polar coordinates involved, then uh, all hell breaks loose. So... Yes. <laughs> I was just like, you, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, you could see this on the trailers as well, but... Um, I mean... Okay. Close enough. Close enough. And um, we have a snowflake. Oh, I can click this. And there's something at the bottom. Oh, hang on. Wait a second. These are all different. 
levels, I guess. So are those Arabic numbers at the bottom or something? I, I, I do not recognize them. Okay, those are just the levels I've done. Okay. Uh, level select. So these are the levels I've done. This is all the levels I've done. Okay. Oh, Joe's finally found the, the link for me. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> um, okay, so I just click out here for the next level of consciousness. What do you mean, WASD? What? Did, what? What does that mean? Oh! <laughs> That's an honest reaction. You, I did not get to, I didn't try this out. <laughs> no. No, you're gonna be. Okay. Uh, so I gotta make it taller. Uh, I'm gonna turn it the other way and then. Yeah, like that, I guess. And then upright. Oh, it's still not right. Like that? Is that... <laughs> Rotation, says Marcus. What could possibly go wrong? Well, I like the green. What is that? What? <laughs> oh, the zoom. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure that helped, but it does look pretty. Uh... I do like that. But... Oh, did you see the way that just folded out? That is amazing. Okay, let's see. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I don't care. I'm just going to take that home with me, you know? I just... That's, that's fine. I, I don't care. Uh... Undo, undo, warning, warning. Okay, let's try. Um, I don't know, what am I doing? Oh dear god. What shape am I trying to make? What is that? Oh, it's just a disc? I, I have to make a disc? Oh yeah, good luck uh, getting Joe to do uh, a series on, uh, on Tandis. I want to start again, if that's okay. So I end up with a wobbly line over there. If I do that here, I get a, a cylinder. Okay. Interesting. That is a lot more comprehensible. Try turning over here. Ooh. I may not survive this. Oh, I forgot. You can also turn it that way. It's the world's most greatest handkerchief maker. <laughs> what did it, what on earth did I just make? Uh, you know, I, I, I literally don't have any idea. Oh, that's pretty close though, isn't it? Ooh. I feel like I grab that. Hey! <laughs> uh, yeah, I did turn it around earlier, Joe. Um, it, it was a thin disc. <laughs> As Orian says, just take it and run. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I want to... It. This is one of those things where you want to just like get through it and say, yes, great, I did it, but the next level is going to be like, and what did you learn from the previous level that should be used on this one? So far, I've learned nothing except that I am going to lose my mind. Um... It is awesome to play with, though. I mean, it's like you almost don't want to necessarily solve the level. You just want to see what crazy stuff you can make. I lay it down. I not lie it down. Oh, maybe like that. Hey, I finally made a disc. <laughs> Um, uh, Joe's idea. A shop where you create a shape using this interface and you get to take it home with you. 
Yeah, that's, you know, definitely um, you know, Animal Crossing needs something like this. Well, maybe the disc could be useful. <gasps> I think I broke the game. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's just too good. I can't even... I just can't even see this. <laughs> I just want to point, don't point to something, it just appeared behind my head. Let me just move this for you. <laughs> Would you like to undo or restart the game as suggested? Just, just a suggestion. <laughs> uh, move my, oh, move myself over there. Um, well, if you insist, well, I'll just restart, see what happens. Um, I really have no idea how I'm going to make this, uh, I'm going to make this. I mean, it's, it's, I made it on the last level, didn't I? At one point, I made a, I made a, a donut shape. Okay, cool. Oh. I, I don't know what I, I prefer this. I don't want the donut. I like this. <laughs> Cylinder has to wrap on itself. Let's make a cylinder then. It's a good idea. Okay, let's have a cylinder. Let's make it wrap in itself. Oh, look at that. I wish I could actually understand the coordinate transform here. It still looks, it looks a bit small though, doesn't it? Oh, it took it. It took it. <laughs> I guess it doesn't... So I was thinking about that first level where it was too small and I didn't like it. But I guess there's a... Um, there's a certain error toler tolerance in that. Obviously. Have to be. It's very continuous movement in the game. Um, I will do this another five minutes. <laughs> They're going to call it a day. <laughs> I finally have to make a sphere. Disc. And I've just made a funky cylinder. I feel like I need to like really. <laughs> if your donut is climb bottle shaped, you get it for free. <laughs> I I am not no longer part of. I'm no longer part of the chat. Gold is checked out. Sphere is a donut on a diet. <laughs> I just love the fact that I got a disc. I'm happy with that. Wow, that is very ugly. <laughs> oh, it's like a like a ball. Isn't it close enough to a ball? <laughs> okay, I get it. Uh, it's interesting you start to see the vertices when it's stretched out too much. Yeah. Come on, that's, that's got to be a ball, right? <laughs> it doesn't like it. Is that because it's got... Yeah, it, it's not quite a ball, is it? It's a little bit... It's a bit suspect. That, that's the description. I'm going to give that suspect. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> what have I done? It's a tomato. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to make tomato. I think I'm turning my tomato into slightly, uh, you know, not quite right banana at this point. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll say tomato. No, I can't say that. I'm, I'm British. Welsh. Um, one minute to make... Um, I can make a curvy line if I do that. I wish I could understand. My brain can, just can't even compute what's going on here. You knew a banana was just a t 
tomato in polar coordinates. I almost said tomato. Oh, what was this? Behind my head. Moving my head again. I'm going to click on this. I guess I'm going to see what it's going to say. <laughs> okay. I feel like that's just the answer. Like, you know what? You've been playing this for quite a few minutes. And I also noticed that you've been playing on a stream. So here's the answer. So if I turn this over, it's saying that... Well, it doesn't look right to me. Oh, hang on. Oh, if I go off slightly. Yes, I got a, I got a, um, a marrow. Um, well, a watermelon. That was what I meant to say, not marrow. Smack. <laughs> um, so, um, I think, um, I will definitely leave it there today. Um, and that was Tandis, uh, which is pure sex. <laughs> um, so um, enjoy uh, trying to get track down some of these uh, games in the next week when they all get released. Uh, Tandis is available now. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, uh, maybe I'll take a day off from puzzle games tomorrow. That's not true. I'm probably going to start. Yeah, I'm going to take a day off. I'm going to try and write a bit more about Pandemic Legacy tomorrow, I think. Um, right, we will leave it there. Uh, oh, yes, there's uh, Joe's with the link there. Thinkathon, thinkygames.com. With infinite steps, you could make fractals. I think I think that's. I just enjoy playing with the shapes rather than actually solving the puzzles. Um, we will leave it there. Definitely leave it there. Uh, so thank you everybody for turning up. Uh, I don't even know how many people turned up. Uh, I've got the setup, so I have no idea the number of visitors. Um, and I find out afterwards that it was actually four people cloned. Um, uh, yep, uh, I'll be back in two weeks' time at more regular uh, non-American friendly time. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Um, we'll leave it there. <laughs>